All right, gonna go over here and I'm using this uh, stadium. Uh, this is actually something you draw on CDs with, but I'm gonna <laughs> kind of use it. If you ever made a playlist, that's what this is. I'm gonna go over here and do broad strokes here. Broad strokes, just kind of putting in the main scaffolding and then I'm gonna go into the full blown detail a little bit later. All right, gonna go over here, line. Gonna go over the nostril. And so right now I'm just kind of kind of going over the pencil lines that I, I originally formed here. And like I said, a lot of that is gonna be, and this is by the way, the uh, legendary Godzilla, which is the um, the most, uh, one of the more recent American ones. What I think the most recent American one, kinda. And I'm gonna draw the back of the skull over here. And I'm going to go over here and I'm going to slowly start, again, the main scaffolding. I am going to do the zigzag pattern, but I am going to break up these teeth in uh, a bit here with a smaller, uh, I guess, ink, ink, uh, like pen, basically. And just more or less, you're just kind of tracing out the stuff you put before. Okay, looking pretty good. I'm gonna erase the uh, construction lines. I'm gonna wait till that dries a little bit and then I'm gonna erase the construction lines. Okay, so let's start with uh, kind of filling in the uh, certain areas that I was talking about. So I was talking a lot about um, filling in these main areas. You can either partially fill it in or entirely fill it in. So I could maybe do this, like the edge of the skull that's kind of peeking out. All right. All righty, so now I'm gonna go in here and fill this stuff out here, fill that. And kind of going over here and filling in the large shapes right here, the large dark shapes. Uh, the reason I do that is because it kind of gives me a, a very good graphic uh, representation of what I'm working with. And then I can always kind of jump in with something else. But this is a good framework to get used to. I'm leaving a little bit of an edge here to show that there's a little bit of, a little bit of depth to the skull itself that has some thickness to it. I could do the same thing for parts of the skull in here. Just kind of fill that in. Right here. Uh, again, just broad, very broad, large representation of, uh, you know, what's going on. Also, if you like this kind of stuff, don't forget to check out my full-length lessons over on Skillshare. Skillshare, I have it full-long lessons on dinosaurs, on the, the basics of drawing, on even cartooning. Go check those out. I'll put the link in the description. So that would be pretty cool. When you sign up, uh, through that link, you get, uh, I think, a couple of, uh, I bought one month free of Skillshare, so. Okay, so that's kind of the large dark shapes that I kind of want to cover. I guess I could throw a couple down here, maybe one right here. 
But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go with a smaller one. This is a Pigma Micron. If you want, uh, I'll put the supplies in the uh, description. Here's the Pigma Mark, uh, Micron. I want a slightly bigger one than that, though. Hold on. Um, dang, these are like really, really tiny. I want like something like mid size. All right. Nope, that's not it. Okay, this is mid-size. Uh, I don't know what number it is. It's a three, I guess. Uh, it says it right there. And I'm gonna go in here to kind of the folds around the eyes, right? And give it some dimension. Like so, like that. These smaller, darker shapes are gonna be the detail that, you know, kind of brings stuff together. And what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to convey information to the viewer by putting these small hatch marks to show kind of like, oh, that's what that surface kind of looks like. There's indication of the surface. Um, and you can throw a bunch of these on here. It's pretty amazing how much of these you can throw on here without, a, you know, breaking the image. Because there is a point with every single thing like this that... It just kind of breaks where there's just too much going on. But, you know, you're, you're not going to get anywhere near there, I don't think. Uh, it shouldn't be too, too big a deal. I'm going to go right here and to the gum line here where Godzilla's teeth come into the skull here. And there's a little bit of an extra little, like, uh, you know, the gums have their own kind of fixture going on. And that would uh, really help to kind of make things look more convincing to draw kind of that 3D aspect of Godzilla here. I mean, of a Godzilla skull. All right, going in here. I don't hear the ridge of the top right there, kind of the, the ridges. I want to make things more, like I said, uh, dimensional. That's kind of my main goal. And I'm thinking, how can I convey these like small surfaces to the viewer? I'm a huge Godzilla fan, as you can tell. I'm going to draw a lot more of these. Make sure to leave a like if you do uh, like this particular uh, lesson. And if you want more Kaiju stuff, because I can do a lot more of it, just let me know. I'm gonna go over here to the bottom here and do the bottom row of teeth here. With the same thing, giving a little bit of a little bit of depth in here. Alrighty. Oh, 
Okie doke, kind of, again, adding in some of these fixtures, and some of these little lines. So right now I'm looking at it and I'm like, it could use more. It could use more information right here, over here. Just kind of picking uh, random parts of it and going, you know what, it could use this, it could use this. And that's a lot of what you're doing. A lot of the drawing in general is decision making, right? Like, what are you deciding exactly? Over here. Just kind of continuing again to look at this and sort stuff out. I'm relatively satisfied with this, I think, at this point. Um, let me know if, you, if there's some other skulls you want me to do and I'll do them. But yeah, I'm relatively sa satisfied with that. That is a, um, what do you call it? That is legendary godzilla the new one the american one the new one uh thank you so much i appreciate it let me know what you think uh hit that like button like i said share the video that will help a lot and like i said um you know subscribe thank you so much i will see you next time and let's get inky